From the beautiful island of Panglao Bohol, we're going on a trip up north. A little over 200 kilometers from Metro Manila, you'll reach the second destination of Juju on the go. The City of Pines, Baguio City. Hey guys, we are here right now at the manor at the Camp John Hay para ibaba lang yung mga gamit natin. Before we begin this long day and beautiful adventure here at Baguio, I'll show you guys the room later but because we're running late and marami pa tayo pupuntahan, kailangan na nating umalis. Let's go! See you around! Also called as the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City has become a top destination na pinupuntahan ng mga tourists and people like me who want to take a break from the noise of the bustling metro. Patok na patok sa travel bucket list ang Baguio, hindi lang dahil sa cold weather, kundi dahil din sa activities and of course, my favorite part, food. So super exciting because I've been to Baguio a couple of times but hindi pa ako nakakatawi dito sa bridge na to. Right now, we are in the Colors of Stobosa. Right now, we are standing in the bridge. A little trivia lang. Before hindi to painted with different colors but in 2016, yung mga homeowners dito, they decided to paint on their houses because at some point before 2016, naging medyo eyesore na siya and it has quickly become the first and the largest Largest community artwork. So this is Colors of Stabosa. Tara. Wow! Look how steep that is. This super remind. Yeah, if you guys can recall, sobrang steep din ng stairs going to the Chocolate Hills. Look how beautiful that is because even the staircase, merong artwork, and you can see that it really is colorful all the way up. It never ends. Stobosa is an acronym for Stonehill, Butiutiu, and Sajap, which are the names of the sitios in the capital of Benguet, La Trinidad. Alam kong mahili kayo magtake ng pictures, and I would really recommend the spot dahil this is so Instagrammable. So we are on our way now to the strawberry farm. I've always just heard about the strawberry farm, but I never got the chance to, to drop by. First time ko din kanina sa Colors of Stobosa, which was really nice. But I do see it already every time we're here in Baguio. But it's different to actually like be on that bridge and walk up the stairs like the homeowners who live there in that area. See you guys later, Strawberry Farm! So when we were planning this trip out, na pag decision na namin, na unahin na muna yung mga destinations na medyo malalayo. Alika, tayo. After a little over 20 minutes from the colors of Stobosa, nandito na tayo sa strawberry farm. And I heard that it's impossible not to have strawberry while we're here. And while this is my first time being here, come on, let's try it out. Actually, I bought a strawberry ice cream and I couldn't resist. It tastes so good. But let's have more and talk about it as we go around. Let's go. Nandito tayo sa strawberry farm. Merong strawberry wine. Ilang percent to? Oh my goodness! Woo! Sarap! So, alin dito yun? Magkano yan? 350. 350? Babalikan natin yan. Kayo po bang gumagawa ng strawberry na taho? So, paano siya nangyayari? Inalagyan po ng strawberry tapos brown sugar mo. Tapos yun na yun? sugar, ganun. Talaga? Pwede po bang matikman yan? Wala pang breakfast, wala pang lunch. So si Kuya mismo ang gumawa niyan. Wow, looks good, Kuya. Legit yan, ma. Legit daw, legit. Grabe o, buong buo pa yung strawberry. Oo, ma. Buong pa yung dalawa. Mmm. Mmm. Ang sarap. That's really good. 
Must try, must try. Kanina it was a little bit cooler, a little bit colder. But now that it's 12:10, medyo nararamdaman na natin yung heat. But later daw medyo lalamig-lamig ulit. Ang isang strawberry taho is 50 pesos. Ano po to? What is this made of po? Young rice. Sticky young rice. Ang tawag nila dito is pilipi. Pilipi. Ano po? Pilipi. Pinipig. Siyempre alam ko po ang pilipi. Ay, iba po ito. Ano naman po ito? Duplado na po siya. Hindi ko na siya. Pinipig. Tama na muna ang kain dahil papasok na tayo sa mismong farm. Ito na. Everybody. So, hindi natin naabutan, no? Yung peak season ng strawberry farm. So, right now, medyo kakaunti na lang yung strawberry. So, let's not pick anymore. Let's just take a tour. Just look around. Gooseberry. Ang sarap. <laughs> Patry! So, iba-iba siya. It's not just um, puro strawberry. Wow, it looks so fresh. Imagine eating that straight from there. Better food, better future. Reminder to self, yeah. Choose good food. Meron tayong nakitang tindahan in the middle of the farm. Tara, puntahan natin. Usually po, paano po yung setup dito? May sinasupplyan po ba kayong mga markets outside or dapat directly dito bumibili? Depende po ma'am kung may ari ng farm. Kasi po, isang farmer, farmer distributor. Kung gusto niya, ah. bumibili sa lahat sa isang tao. So each owner meron pong 500 square meters. So nothing less, nothing more po. Ah, okay. So interesting. So she mentioned a while ago that per area, somebody owns this. So now we know that specifically per 500 square meter, may nagmamayari niyan. And it, but ito po, anybody can purchase. Yes, ma'am. Very okay. fresh. Very, very fresh. 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 Fresh from the farm. Question, ma'am, would you recommend na straight sila bumibili here sa farm or sa market? Depende po ma'am sa kung ano yung mas bet nilang kasi kung madalian. Yes. Po sa Correct. So, I think kung may na-pick up ako dito is, I think it's still so much better to buy straight from the farm because it's more affordable. It's less pricey and very fresh. December ang pinaka-peak season ng strawberries. December 2, to me. Aso ah, ko lang po ang supply natin kasi na-flood nung last year and then yung pandemic. So nag-suffer po sobra yung farm during the pandemic. Pero what would you say na right now as we speak better times na siya after the pandemic and then the flood better na? Okay. Hopefully ngayong Pero done of the season if. So pagkatapos sa pagkatapos ng May, hindi na masyadong bumubunga yung Gulay na. So, nakausap natin si ate. Obviously, ang dami ko rin natutunan about this farm. In just a very simple conversation with her. That's why it really is good to ask. When you do ask, there's really so much more to learn. So, hopefully, we can come back in December in the peak of strawberry farm. But right now, since we were able to just walk around, I guess we're done here. And I'm excited because speaking of gulay and fresh gulay off of the farm, papunta naman tayo sa isang restaurant called OMG. Oh my gulay. Let's find out. Let's ask the people there how fresh yung gulay nila doon and if possible na nakakuha din sila ng mga fresh veggies here. Hey guys! Kanina, na-mention ko na sa inyo kung saan tayo papunta. So, right now, we are just making our way to Oh My Gulay, which happens to be in the fifth floor of the building. Imagine this. 1.30 na. Wala pa kaming breakfast and lunch. Tapos, we're gonna go up pa. Ten commandments? Thou shall not talk ham. Gumawa ng kalokohan dahil makipot na ang heaven. Aanhin pa ang gold kung patay na ang magnanaka. No comment. <laughs> wow! Ang ganda! Ang ganda! Wow, guys! Nicely done, this restaurant. Gutom na ako, guys. So, nandito tayo sa Oh My Gulay. Isa to sa pinaka-famous na restaurants dito sa Baguio. It's vegan. Obviously, meat-free sila dito. Okay, I will try the General Luna's Punyetang Shitake. <laughs> I love that name. At dahil napanood ko ang General Luna. And then, for my drink, I would like to have Dayap. Which one is this? Uh, this is brought in the pasta with pesto. Oh, pesto. This is General Luna's Punyetang Shetake. Masarap siya. Mapapapunyeta ka talaga. Itong nagutong na. So this is the gaya. 
iced tea. Let's try it. Oh wow, that's so good. Mm. Mix it up. The guy of iced tea is lime infused brewed iced tea. It's really good. So now we're gonna try the brocha ni Antonio Luna. It's pesto homemade tomato sauce. So let's see. It's fresh. Very fresh. I really try so hard. Like, I try so hard to make sure that I make the right food choices. Especially that I'm 25 and I'm getting older. I appreciate restaurants like this because they make the experience of, you know, the journey of being healthier easier. Kapag may makita kang, okay, healthy restaurant. I mean, just give it a shot because like now I'm enjoying my meal so much. Sabi nga namin ni you should eat pag healthy yung pag -a. And after 13 minutes to an hour, gutom na gutom ka na naman. <laughs> it feels so good. Like when I took a bite of your pesto pasta, it felt so light, so fresh. And... We're done eating. It's time to explore the restaurant. So, ang ganda ng restaurant na to. I appreciate it so much because of how everything was just... Look here, it's homey, it's cozy, there's just so much art to see. So let's look at some of them. You want the artwork to go for sale yet or for this one? Depende. Depende po. It's really the little details like this that make some places really special. I love furniture like this. This is Mr. Kidlat Tahimik, a national artist for film. But nakakita pa ako ng more and more artwork. Baguio isn't just attractive because of its tourist spots and famous art spaces. What makes Baguio even more beautiful is how creative the people are. We have several world-renowned artists here in Baguio, like Benedicto Cabrera, also known as Ben Cab, national artist for film Kidlat Tahimik, Filipino sculptor Ben Hor Villanueva, just to name a few, whose legacies will remain for the future generations to see, taking inspiration from the picturesque landscape and rich culture and heritage of the city. Okay guys, so our next destination, I'm super excited for this because I love books and that's not something that a lot of people know about me. Pupunta tayo ngayon sa Mount Cloud Library. Session Road, everyone! And ito siya ka-busy. Diba? Hey everyone, we are finally here at Mount Cloud Bookshop. Dito talaga ako pinaka na-excite. It's pretty quiet here, so I don't wanna make a lot of noise. Let's see what they have in there and let's get to know more local authors. Happy Pride Month! Aking mga besties! Mayroon silang pride section dito. Mount Cloud Bookshop Since 2010, but this is a new location. We were in Castro Vallejo, 2010 to 2019. Why would you say this bookshop is really famous and um, puntahan talaga siya ng mga tourists when they come visit? Well, first of all, kasi matagal na nga siya, since 2010 pa siya. And I think it's the theme. Kasi we're a Filipina na bookshop. Around 80% of the books are from local authors mm -hmm. and artists. Ang goal ng bookshop is to showcase yung local, local. talents. You read, I'm sure you read. What would you say as your favorite local author? Right now, I'm crushing on Nick Joaquin. Crushing? <laughs> Siguro classic is si Merlinda Mar Bupis. If it was my first time to read a book by a local author, which one would you recommend for a beginner? Like an introduction to local authors? Siguro depende sa kung anong genre yung gusto mo. Is it real story? Uh, yeah, we have fiction. Both of our stories are life stories na fictional. Ang dami nating mga poets, yeah. Filipino poets. Ang popular namin ngayon is Wing of the Locos. High fantasy siya about pre-colonial history ng Pilipinas. And ito mga Nick Joaquin. This is fantasy. Uh, yan yung mga collection ng works niya. Ito, 
about call center in the Philippines. Para siya heist. Oh really? Yun yung isa sa silent bestseller namin. How about love story? Love story. Title is Salamanca. Salamanca. Ano ay Salamanca? Magician. Salamanca. We also have like mga classic na books ng from Bob Ong, Ricky Lee. How about ano sa mga poems? Ito yung sa bestseller namin. I would recommend this kasi sobrang recent niya. Uh, his daughter died. Um, part siya ng mga ano mga activist so major pa yung emotions um that's from a local artist yeah her name is Kesaya I got your bookmarks thank you so much for allowing us to interview you and introducing this this author welcome back what's your name Jonah okay well I'll see you Jonah again <laughs> All right, so before heading out, nakita namin na you could leave. So, what is one life advice you can't forget? Ang dami dito nagsulat. in Baguio Botanical Garden. Gusto natin makita ang Japanese tunnel. I have no idea what to expect actually. So if you guys want to visit here, the entrance fee for adults is 10 pesos, for children 5 pesos lang. So kaya kaya. Anyone can ano, experience. Medyo lumalamig na. Finally, nandito na tayo sa Japanese tunnel. Ang labi! Dito! Ang sarap! <laughs> Walang gustong mauna! <laughs> Walang gustong mauna! Ito ang lahat yung ice ko! It's a bunker nga, no? Oo! Meron pa doon! Pero I can't na. Scared na. Try! Dinalagay nila dito? Oo. Also guys, ulan, ulan yan! Dito no, si the store. Yung mga bombs. Yeah. Ano? Hindi yun grabe. Dami. It's gonna rain so hard. So we just came out of the Japanese tunnel. Hindi kami nakatagal kasi medyo na frighten kami sa dilim. Although pabagsak na yung ulan, so feeling ko dyan din kami babalik in a while kasi pabuhos na siya eh. Okay, you will find the Japanese tunnel here at the heart of Baguio City inside the Baguio Botanical Garden. So this Japanese tunnel was used as a bunker by the Japanese soldiers during the World War II and actually when you go in, makikita mo na bunker talaga siya. There are other people going inside as well. It's really dark inside but it's cold. Kailangan may kasama ka na pag pumapasok ka ng Japanese tunnel. The Japanese tunnel is just a part of this huge location. Maraming pwedeng mapuntahan at matambayan. May mga food stalls in inside where you can buy food at magpicnic sa tabi-tabi. Kaya sulit na sulit talaga ang entrance fee. There's also a wonderful place to actually visit the botanical garden here in the heart of Baguio City. It's really nice. So many nice flowers, nice ang plants. Again, the Japanese tunnel. It's really dark inside. Hindi kami masyado nakuha ng mga footage. Madilim. Halos wala din kayo makikita. Um, nandito tayo sa souvenir shop ng Botanical Garden as you head out, as you exit. Up next sa itinerary natin is the Chocolateria na kailangan na kailangan ni Julia. Kasi antok na antok na siya. Yes! Need na need na talaga natin ng energy boost. Kaya pupuntahan na natin ng isang artisanal cafe na famous for everything cacao na matatagpuan sa Igorot Stairs. Hey guys! So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Chocolateria. It's a very well-known spot also here in Baguio. Medyo tired na kami, medyo sleepy na rin since diretso kami galing biyahe. Kailangan namin ng matamis, kailangan namin ng sugar. Hello! Maganda lighting dito. 
Okay, so nasa atin na ang menu. Famous for everything cacao. Ito ang meron sila. Choco A, Choco E, Choco Disc, Choco Nut, Choco Mal, Choco Silly. Frozen Hot Choco, Choco Barako. Okay, let's just ask for the best seller. Si Kuya Rolo na magiging server natin for today dito sa Chocolateria. Hi Kuya, gano'n ka tagal ng Chocolateria dito? Um, since 2015. Okay, so since 2015. What would you say is your best seller dito sa menu? Bale yung for best seller natin, ang yung original ko na talaga. Bale yung Chocolate A, then Chocolate A. Then yung difference po niya, yung Chocolate A po natin, sweet. And then yung Chocolate A, bitter sweet mo. Pahingi naman ako ng isang Chocolate A. Kasi gusto natin ng matamis. Meron po sila ito, Baguio Brew, Choco Barako, meron sila mga frap, mga smoothie. Dumating na ang Choco A. Kaya naman, let's do this, guys. First, kailangan muna natin siyang i-mix using a baterol. Wow! Mainit pa to. Ito na. Malamigid lang muna na. Baka mapasok ako. Yes. <laughs> Smile for the series naman! Mm. Sarap! Back at the hotel to freshen up, kaso parang napahaba yata ang aking idlip. Currently, kinakatok namin si Chu dahil ano oras na. Chu! Hey guys, so we are now here at Gypsy Bayo. I've been here before. The last time, my sister and I really enjoyed the ube latte here, which we're going to have again today. We're going to order it and then later, we'll try and see. We also have this dumpling type inside this spinach and artichoke. This one's super good. I love anything ham and cheese sandwich. And then my sunny side of egg. Plus, gusto mo ng little bit more flavor. Hey guys, so we just had dinner. Now, we're going to have dessert here. We're gonna have the ube latte. This MJ make it for us. Hindi buo ang Baguio experience kung hindi ka pupunta sa night market. Kaya to cap off the day, taan muna tayo. From ukay-ukay, accessories, pati na rin food trip, mahanap mo yan dito sa night market. This is located beside Burnham Park alongside Harrison Road and this is open from 9pm hanggang madaling araw. Good morning, guys! It is our second day here in Baguio. And nandito tayo ngayon sa tinatawag nilang historical core, which you can still find here in Camp John Hay. Um, bakit tayo nandito? Actually, ang pinunta talaga namin dito is the Cemetery of Negativism. Yan yung puntahan ng mga tao na gusto nilang ibaon yung mga negativity, negative thoughts, negative energy. Pero before tayo pumasok dito, we're gonna tell them, hello, good morning. How much the entrance fee is? 48 pesos pag tourists, students, seniors, 36 pesos. Tas pag kids free na. So bashers, punta kayo dito 48 pesos lang. Cemetery of negativism. It's a beautiful day, guys. Currently na sa mga 18 to 20 degrees ngayon sa Baguio. Of course, dito sa Baguio, ang daming nakakaalam about the Laparel House, about the Diplomat Hotel, kung saan lost souls may be wandering. Pero dito sa Cemetery of Negativism, hindi tao ang binibury nila dito. Ang binibury nila dito are negative thoughts, negative feelings, 
negative energy. And then we also learned a little bit of history about this place. In the 80s, there is a commander named John Hightower na he believed that isa sa mga burden ng soldiers ay yung negative thoughts and feelings nila that really hinders them from reaching their full potential. So naisip nila na maghold ng funeral for negative thoughts and negative feelings. I feel like it's a nice place to go to in the morning. Like right now, it's just 8.30. It's a nice time to really have some alone time if meron kang kinikerry na negative energy. Iwan mo na dito. I'm gonna leave everything here. All my worries, all the fears, all my anxiousness. Leave, leave, leave. But one of the things that also caught my attention is this place. So this entire place is called Historical Core. Whole place, right? Sa lahat ng ikakasal or magkahit anumang event. This is a nice, beautiful location. Okay guys, our next destination, syempre hindi pwedeng umalis ng Baguio nang hindi tayo bumibili ng pasalubong for our month tours. So pupunta tayo sa Good Shepherd. Puntahan nyo ng mga tao gusto bumili ng pasalubong, ng delicacies. Hindi ako pwede umalis ng Baguio na walang binibili for the Mother Goose. We wanted to pass by Good Shepherd as planned to buy mga delicacies, ube jam, and mga pasalubong for our families. Pero, pagdating namin, makikita nyo, sobrang haba ng pila. Nung meron kaming tinanungan kung what time sila nag-start pumila, 5 a.m. So noted, next time na gusto namin bumisita sa Good Shepherd, dapat by 5 a.m. Nandun na kami. But, we also found out na naging ganun lang yun during the pandemic, kasi may pandemic pa rin hanggang ngayon. I think it's more of like safety protocols and then il ilan lang yung maximum na pwede pumasok dun sa, sa store mismo. So, they're being extra cautious and extra safe. But next time, pupunta tayo dun sa Good Shepherd. Right now, we are on our way to Hatch to have breakfast because after breakfast, meron pa tayong pupuntahan na destination coming up in our next few episodes. Dahil nga mahaba ang pila, hindi na tayo bumaba dahil may hinahabol tayong oras. At syempre, ayoko naman mag-cut sa line. So, nagtanong-tanong na lang ang aking team kung ano ba ang marirecommend nilang bilhin natin next time we go here. Yung product na Good Shepherd. Since ever naman, every time na mag-visit kami ng bagyo, nag-purchase kami. Ano no, siguro after... Three years kasi na nakabalik kami ulit. Ngayon lang namin na-experience yung guntong kiwi. Yung very, ano kasi nila, famous na talagang kinukuha namin dito is yung ube jam. First time ko lang din po makapunta dito. Bali, excited ako mabili is yung ube jam po nila. Which is sikat nga daw po. Tapos sobrang sarap daw. Tsaka, syempre, yung strawberry jam. Good morning guys, we finally made it here to Hatch Coffee. This is also my personal favorite in Baguio. So I decided to take the team here so that they could try it here. This is the grilled cheese that B is having longer than inside. There is also the grilled cheese that Vinge is going to review for us. <laughs> Kitang kita talaga yung ube. Makeup pala. <laughs> so let's try first bite. Actually, hindi talaga ako kumakain ng ube, pero try natin to. Alam mo yung mga ube cheese pandesal? Ah. Ganun yung eksena niya. Kung out of five, ano yung bibigay mo ba? Five. Feeling ko naman five. Wow, perfect. Nice one. Kasi hindi rin naman ako kumakain ng ube, so masarap siya. Wala kang standard masyado. Wala akong, wala akong masyado standard. Eto, try mo yung plain real cheese. Kasi hindi ko na kaya, guys. Parang cheese pizza. Okay, and next na mag-review. Para sa nung ganito. Guys, B, review mo na ko. Oh, ano sa review? Three. Okay, why? May lang ako sa nung ganito. So, so maroon, may standard. May standard ako lang. So, what do you think is missing para maging five siya? Garlic. According sa preference yan ng tao. So, uh -oh. you prefer your nung ganito that's more on the garlic side. Garlic, uh oo. -oh. Okay, you guys, before we head on out, I'm gonna give you guys a room tour. Hindi natin to nagawa no first day. This is our room in the manor. Thank you so much to Klok 
for helping us book this room. If you guys want to book any vacation stays, Clock can help you out with that. So this was booked through Clock with the help of Clock. So thank you again. Right now we are at the room that has two bedrooms. Parang family villa style na rin siya. and I think it's perfect kapag nag vacation ka. May it be with family or friends. So right now we're at the dining area of the room. And what's nice is that you also have a view of outside, you have a balcony and you just see a lot of nature and that very therapeutic sound of the water, the, the little waterfall out there. And then here is our living area, which I like a lot because it's super cozy and homey and relaxing. So this is a place where you can hang out, chit chat with your family, with your friends. And then of course, the balcony area on the other side naman. This I would say is peaceful side a lot more moony moony. It's really cold here in Baguio so hindi mo na kailangan ng aircon. Ang ganda ganda ng weather. It's a beautiful day out. Let's go to the room naman. This is my room. So it's a one bedroom. This is where I stayed last night. I also have a view from here. So it's almost the same as the balcony. Very nice. Maganda lighting dito guys. So gusto niyo mag-Instagram. Instagram dyan. That's about it. It's a super nice room. It's great for family and friends to come and stay here because it's two bedrooms. And then one room has its own banyo and then the other one is just right in front of it. So, this is it. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Room tour for more! In just one and a half day, we went to some of the beautiful places Baguio has to offer. Most of which, first time ko lang puntahan. From walking on the hanging bridge of Stobosa, tasting strawberry taho at the strawberry farm, trying out General Luna Punyetang Shitake of Omai oh Gulay, exploring the shelves at Mount Cloud, walking around the Baguio Botanical Garden and the Japanese tunnels, mixing chocoa with a batterol at Chocolateria, Burying my negative thoughts and feelings in the cemetery of negativism. Checking out the famous Session Road Night Market to of course trying out the restaurants I've been to before. If I'm not supposed to think about you like this, the universe, the universe, cause every single thought leaves your name. Baguio may be a destination that most of us have been to before, but every time I go back here, it's definitely a different experience. Until the next episode of Juju on the Go, where should we go next? Tara!